Buster Gale, and this is... Buster Keaton. And brought to you by... Rosemary Clooney. A mule is an animal with long, funny ears. He kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brawny and his brain is weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. Or would you like to swing on a star? a pig a pig is an animal with dirt on his face his shoes are a terrible disgrace he's got no manners when he eats his food he's fat and lazy and extremely rude but if you don't care a feather or a fig you may grow up to be a pig or would you like to swing on a star Carry moonbeams home in a jar And be better off than you are Or would you rather be a fish? A fish won't do anything but swim in a brook He can't write his name or read a book To fool the people is his only thought And though he's slippery, he still gets caught But then of that sort of life is what you wish You may grow up to be a fish And all the monkeys are in a zoo Every day you meet quite a few So you see it's all up to you You could be swinging on a star Thank you. And Nelson, thank you too for that wonderful arrangement. In fact, Nelson, come on over here. Yes, Rosemary? Isn't he just about the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole life? Rosemary, I am not cute. Well, I think you are. And so does my sister Gail. Oh, now, Gail, she's cute. Uh, don't tell her, would you not, please? Okay. Okay. What was the name of the music you were running over just before the show? Oh, that's something I wrote for Mr. Keaton's scene. It doesn't have a name. It's just beautiful, Nelson. Thank you, Rosemary. You'll hear it and meet Buster Keaton and my little sister Gail in just a few moments. But first, here's a message from our host. And for those of you who just joined us, this is my little sister Gail. Gail, our viewers. Hello. Say, Rosie, who is that nice man I met at the beginning of the show? Buster Keaton? Why, he's one of the biggest comedy stars of all time. You know something? It looks like there are some gaps in your education that need filling in. Hi, Lowe's. How about a sample of some good old-fashioned barbershop harmony for the little lady? Say I'm all 
do. In fact, there's a Society for the Preservation of Barbershop Harmony. Where do I go to join? I'm afraid you're still a little young. I know. If I wasn't so young, I'd have seen Buster Keaton. Well, young or not, you're going to see him right now. Do the same sort of thing that he did in silent pictures. Silent pictures? If the people didn't talk, how could you follow the story? See this picture? Mm -hmm. You just watch Mr. Keaton. And I think you'll find that actions do speak louder than words. like the sort of entertainment they had back when Mother was your age. Fine, Rosie. Only, well, 
You and Mr. Keaton and the Hilos have all done something. And uh, and now you want to do your number? Sure. I don't want Mr. Keaton to think I'm just a little amateur or something. Oh, well, we couldn't have anything like that. Couldn't it? You all ready? Just as soon as I get Goomer. Get Goomer? Goomer. He's my prop for this number. Oh. Prop. She's getting to sound pretty professional, isn't she? Nelson, while I go get the props for our duet, could we have a little girl and kitten music for this budding young star? <laughs> professional, too. Thank you, Mr. Keaton. What's that funny suit you have on? What's funny about it? This is my best suit. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was only fooling. This is an old Keystone cop outfit they used to wear in the old silent days. Were you a Keystone cop? I wasn't then, but I'm going to be one now just for you. Really? Yeah, just as soon as you read this introduction. Okay, then you hold Goomer. You can read, can't you? Certainly, I'm not that young. Thank you. This is a city. Buster Keaton's a Keystone cop. Clark Burroughs, a crook. That's about the size of it. Remarks politely 
<clears throat> Pardon me, but if you move an inch, I'll shoot. You see, I'm a souvenir collector, so you have no cause for fright. <laughs> then he bows away with your last week's pay, and he wishes you good night. Good night. <laughs> Look out, look out, look out for Jimmy Valentine For he's a pal of mine, a sentimental crook With a touch that lingers in the hand Paper fingers, he can find the combination of your pocket Look, look out, look out For when you see his lantern shine That's the time to jump right up and shout Help! He'd steal a horse and cart, he'd even steal a girlie's heart from Jimmy Valentine. Get out. Well, young lady, how about you and me doing our number together? All right, Rosemary, but after Mr. Keaton, you're going to seem awfully callow. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Grandma. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll try to cover it up with brilliant acting. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Our props. I've got them. Yep. Ready? All right, Nelson. <laughs> goodbye time again. Nelson, high lows, you gave your usual splendid performances. Gailey, you're very good, honey, and very, very professional. Thank you, Rosie. So are you. Well, thank you. 
Buster, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your coming over and giving us all a chance to enjoy your artistry. Well, I enjoyed it. And besides, I can't let Gail grow up thinking I'm Donald O'Connor. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> We'd better go. Well, wh where are you taking Mr. Keaton in such a hurry? We've got a date with some custard pie. Oh? She's going to show me how to bake them, and I'm going to show her how to throw them. <laughs> we'll have fun. <laughs> and I hope you've had fun during the past half hour, too. If you have, try and be with us again next time, won't you? Until then, good night, everyone. Do 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 do